Hey, hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome to Until Next Time Podcast. I'm Randy, and this is my other host. And I am Nick, and I, yes, I am sitting like a girl who can have strong vibes based off of your zodiac sign. And this is Until Next Time. One of those crisscross applesauce. <laughs> Not anymore, bud. They took that away from us, too. Or no, Indian City. Mmm. Mmm. No, not good taste. That was not even, not even, not even twenty seconds in. Anyways, everybody, oh, yeah, welcome yeah. back. Hope everybody here is nice and decompressed, and no one explodes going underwater in a submarine. So, the imploded. They imploded. Don't implode on me now. The size of a golf ball. Wait, wait why did I say that? Because of the pressure. Uh, I'm reading cue cards, guys. I don't know if you know this, but for the last 60 episodes, we've just been reading cue cards. Ah! <laughs> Why would you do that to the microphone? What do you, what'd you think about um, the submarine? It was the most fucking annoying story of all the internet. I genuinely did not care. I wanted them to die first day. That's so once again, <laughs> welcome to the best. <laughs> welcome. Well, fucking good that they died first day. To the day. best late news. And today's topic, let's talk about submarines. Hey, fun fact. Um, the fucking. You just leave them. The, the implosion that happened, the pressure was so fucking powerful that their blood and all anything like moist in their body evaporated into like nothingness. So it's like you crush a soda can. Is it? Yes. No. No, it's worse no. than that. It's a lot worse. Oh, it's like. If you heat up the can and then flip it upside down into cold water, then it smashes. So it's like when you when those videos with the hydraulic press. Right. No, I feel like no, because that's getting crushed. Implosion. No, I'm not trying to be mean. No, I'm I know, just, I'm like, just trying to get. Implosion is legitimately just like. And like into like a tiny ball, a dude. Explosion. Honestly, a backwards explosion. If you if you if we had to, we wouldn't be able Gnarly. to put their cells into place. Imagine like Jesus. Okay. See now, what's funny about the whole situation is that why why <laughs> this is fucked up. Why didn't the internet care? What do you mean? Like, like. This is the first. <laughs> oh God damn, that's not funny. This is the first time that like something terrible is happening or happened. Oh, and we started and, making memes immediately. And, like, and I saw the memes immediately. Like, like I'm not even gonna lie. Like on my feed, I did not see one thing of like. Hope they're okay. Like, oh, I hope they're okay. It was like so. It's because we've gotten to the point of our lives where, every, well, not a point of our lives. It's just right now in history. If you're rich, people fucking hate you. It's just that's how True. it is. True. Okay, and that then, does make sense. And then considering you had to pay two hundred and fifty thousand dollars to get a fucking seat, they didn't care. People genuinely didn't care. I, I literally saw a TikTok of that where it's just like, "Hey, bro, did you hear about the five people that are like the the fucking in the submarine and they're lost?" He goes like, yeah, bro, I heard about that, but I genuinely don't care. I am, I have 400 bucks in my bank account, and i that's only one quarter of my rent, and I owe it in three days. I genuinely don't care about the submarine. Uh, okay, I can see that. And it's like, what sucks is that, like, this is how I look at it from my perspective. And, you know, my, my opinion probably doesn't matter at all. But, like, what did you, like, can you please post that <laughs> on the Until Next Time? Okay, so, like. What do you expect going down there? What do you expect? The Titanic. Okay, yeah, that is true. I will say this. They but get like, the full immersive experience. Like, they paid extra for that. <laughs> no. It was a suicide pact. No, but it's just kind of like, what the hell? Like, why Like, why do that? Like, you know, okay, I think I understand it in the sense if you have so much money, you're going to do stuff that pretty much no one can do. It's, but it's uh, like, what did you expect? Fuck, who was it? It legitimately they just said this. It was like a whole ass article. He goes, rich people are the worst people at spending because you just start to run out of shit to do. It's like, the no, it's like the filthy. It's like, no, people that are like born into wealth in a sense or just get really that far into it. Did you hear about the food that like, the stepson or some shit of one of the people? Yeah, so apparently the stepson of one of the billionaires that imploded, he, like, 
was like hitting bitches up on OnlyFans. Yeah. And then like this fool was at a concert too, I think, when he told them the news and he's just like, Oh no and then filmed himself at the yeah, concert. He doesn't care. He's about to, him and his mom are about to hit the bag. <laughs> like they don't care. Like it's the truth. They're that filthy rich, like they don't care. So speaking of women <laughs> Jesus. Mm. That was a <laughs> that was a weird transition. I could say something racist. Did I and tell it you already? That bad. Did I tell you? Have we talked about this? Like, I like a girl with some big teeth. You know what I mean? Like, you know, been avoiding One of them it. horse teeth. Yeah, been avoiding it for years. But you know what? I think I saw this girl and she just had big ass teeth, and I was like, you know what? It doesn't look that bad. I do like big teeth. My I, lady doesn't have big ass teeth, but she doesn't I, watch this podcast. Weird, weird as fuck. <laughs> I like I'd, girls with I'd really big like, teeth. Wait, if my girlfriend's gonna beat me up because I'm talking about other bitch's teeth. That'd be the day. Like, I, I, uh, <laughs> more power to her. I like girls with big teeth and a very buttoned nose. Big teeth and a buttoned nose. Yeah. Let's build our let's build our dream woman together. Oh, bro. I, you say okay. You know what? No, this is what we're gonna do. You say a quality that you want, and I'm gonna say a quality that I I really don't want. And start. We can start from the feet up. Uh, toes. <laughs> so so go. So 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 go. So go feet. Feet. We're building a woman. It's the it's the last thing I look at. I know, but what kind of feet do you want? You, like you can say you can say you can say normal feet, or you can say flat footed. I don't know. If we've just what the just, fuck? Just play with me. Just play with me. Just go. Fucking nice feet. Okay, no shins. <laughs> so then now you move up. So now you're moving up to the to the thighs. Like, what kind of thighs do you want? <laughs> disfigured. No, you have to say a quality you like. A disfigured <laughs> waist. I want her to have four no. holes. Okay, fine. Do you like cottage cheese thighs? Do you like fit thighs? Do you like cottage cheese thighs. Oh, cottage cheese is like all lumpy in the ass. Mm, okay. <laughs> Let's start this over. I will be the normal person because you want to be the joke. Okay, no. Because you're the star. No, He's she, the star. She, I want her to have that onion in. asshole. 60 episodes in. I want her to have the 60 h- onion booty. 60 episodes in. Give me a kiss. 60 episodes in. Onion booty. Onion booty? Yeah. Like her ass asshole, smells. Asshole's so nice it makes you want to cry. Okay. Look, dude. We're going to start over. Microscopic asshole. Okay. We'll start from the feet up. Nice feet. Regular feet. Shins. Just normal looking feet, god damn it. Shins. Okay, shins. Big thighs. Audi belly button. <laughs> uh thin stomach. Flat stomach. <laughs> Irregular breasts. <laughs> One has to be bigger. A nice neck. Adam's apple. <laughs> Uh, a soft jawline. A beard. Beard. (laughs) Damn, this is big, uh, nice lip, medium sized lips. (laughs) (laughs) No gag reflex. Hell yeah. I think you're so okay, fine. Um, Nice, small nose. (laughs) Now you're at the eyes. Oh, God. You got anything? What's gonna be wrong with their eyes, bro? This is making me think about what you said in high school. What did I say? What, what did I say six plus years ago that make that is it's cracking you up right now? Oh, there was this girl that was cockeyed as fuck. I don't know if you remember her eye, like, just pointed towards her nose the whole time. And you're just like, you know, like, when you fuck a bitch and you're cockeyed, you think if you fuck her, she goes co- straight eye. <laughs> That's so foul. Okay, so what's wrong with her eyes? We're almost done. We're almost done. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> okay. But like, but like the milky eye. <laughs> Thin eyebrows. <laughs> Fucking b- cancer ball. <laughs> okay, Jesus Christ. All right, we'll start over now. That's what the that's fuck? that's. I guess that's. Why was that so funny? That's my me? woman. All right, now let's build. Let's build your woman. I wasn't even listening, Nick. What'd you say? For what? 
I think exactly. That's why, dude. I was trying to make. <laughs> she looks horrible. <laughs> Her, she's ran out of her years. We'll say that. Uh, cr- cricket toes. <laughs> no, fool. You have to be serious. You be uh, serious, because now it's my turn. Fuck. What? She, she gave witch feet. Okay, have you so ever we're heard gonna of do that? this. It's gonna go feet. What you like? It's gonna be feet, leg, thighs, stomach, chest, neck, chin, oh. lips, nose, eyes, eyebrows, and head. Oh, I forgot that. Right. Nice feet. Like, okay. Nice feet. Okay. No, sh- no shins. <laughs> so then she's like fucking con from <laughs> yes. So now you're on con. Thighs. I mean, so now what, what kind of thighs? Uh, cotton. I meant hmm? thighs. Yeah. Stop it. <laughs> thighs. Voluptuous. Voluptuous. Um. So is that fit or is that just? Fit? It's a nice fit, jiggly booty. She has those. Uh, what are the? Uh, what are those? What do girls wear? Chorus. Corset, corset waist. Damn, she's, she's a fucking. She's like built like an ant. Yeah. So then, so now you're doing stomach. Well, might as well give her like a little fupa. <laughs> You'd like that? I do like fupas. Okay. Just one boob. What? Just one boob, uniboob, just right in the middle. <laughs> right in the middle. Just right in the middle. Now you're on neck. Long neck. <laughs> strong, strong jawline. That here on lips. <sighs> White girl thin lips. <laughs> Voldemort nose. That here on eyes. George Clooney eyes. <laughs> George Clooney eyes. <laughs> See, you just a, you just a joke. <laughs> nah. Monobrow. I want you to look up George Clooney's eyes and tell me if you're not sexually attracted to them. And just like one. Or is that a unibrow? That's What's a unibrow. A, oh, a monobrow is the one that's like a thick piece in the middle. Oh, uh, uh, okay. Yeah, unibrow. Fucking dreads. <laughs> <laughs> and a fat forehead. <laughs> you, you know what, dude? You're just, you're not as serious, but. Okay, guys. So then, I want a fat bitch. <laughs> so who would you bang? Probably be mine. <laughs> Probably yours. So I have to bang the blind bitch. <laughs> but like, it's like the milky eyes where it drips still. So like, if she's on top of you, that's just. <laughs> she's like, it's hitting my eyes. She's like, I can't see. Fuck, like, where's that from? You're like, like you're lucky. <laughs> Do you? Where's that from? What? She had one milky eye and it dripped on her when he was fucking her. Oh. I don't know. I want to say it's a scary movie, but it's not. Like, that's what I don't know. Fucking no. Jeez. Whatever. So, anyways, um, what I was going to show you. Can I show you a video? Yeah. I mean, I wanted to show you this video. I'm pretty sure you've seen this video. Sorry, guys. You have to stop the podcast so Nick can show oh, me Oh, my gosh. No, video. you can still talk. I just got to find it. Okay. The Grimace Milkshakes. <laughs> so, F- I'm, possibly I'm gonna... one of the fu- Fire. It just tastes like taro, doesn't it? Doesn't it? That's or what taro? I. Taro that's taro. what I thought, but turns out it's like blueberry raspberry. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Well, does it taste like cereal? No. Like the bottom of a cereal? Like a gogurt. Like a gogurt? Oh, okay. Anyways, Come? look at this video. Look at this video. I've been wanting to show you this. So that's a bear. I'm gonna sh- put this one on screen. So. You see that bear? Yeah. Okay. So look at guys. This is this is a video of a bear. Yeah. Now, what's the first thing that comes to your mind when you look at that bear? Polar bear shedding. Chicago. Okay. I feel like that bear. Th- the first thing when I saw that bear, I was like racist. What? Why? Doesn't that bear look racist? Because he's white. Doesn't he look like, like he's like an old racist bear? Like look at him. No, what the fuck? Ah, really? I thought I was going to really hit this one. No, this bear looks racist to me. Because he looks like he's just like an old racist mind. <laughs> well, he shouldn't be because he should have a hard life because he's racist.
No, 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 no. It's an actual movie. I know the fuck it's. So movie. they're talking about a movie where somebody has a milky blind eye and it she, drips she's on, like them on top while of him. And she fucking drips on. Him. He's like, <sighs> yeah. Um, what do you think? What's your thoughts on AI? I don't know. Honestly, what's your thoughts on artificial AI? intelligence? Yeah. Oh God. It's the future, man. It's the future. Fuck no, it's not. I hate it. I don't you hate like it. AI. So far, like how um how we're using it as comp, how we're using it for compositing photos. I don't know if you've seen it. Like when we like trace out the, a photo and like it fills it up. Yeah. I don't like that. I also don't like AI art. I really don't. I'm super against it solely for the reason that you know, like, dude, I, I almost got accepted to a fucking university in San Francisco for art, and then like just like seeing how easy it is for someone to replicate it. Or, or, not replicate it, like just full on steal it. I, yeah. I just don't like AI, but I'm saying a sense of like, like Chat GPT for like college students. It's just funny. Yeah, it is funny. You seen the South Park episode? Yeah, right? I did. So, so totally it was pretty funny. fucking funny. Well, what's funny for people who want to know anything about me? I'm like, you know what? What do I want to do in life? And I was like, you know what? I'll be a screenwriter. And then, you know what? AI's like, fuck it. I want to be a screenwriter, too. So AI... Yeah, but have you read those? Like, no, no, no. But the thing is, is like what a lot of like people and comedians have been saying, which makes sense, is that basically they're going to have AI create an entire movie script. It's going to happen. Someone like someone's going to come out with that movie. IGN already did it. They're going to come out with an entire movie script that's generated by AI. And then they're going to hire one writer to go in the room and fix it. Do you know what I mean? Like, it kind of makes sense, but then it kind of sucks because it's just like... So it could be really? like some guy that writes a fantasy fucking book and then you just have to overlook it and be like, all right, then let me look it through. Let's see. Oh, this is pretty good. Let me cut this out and shit like that. Yeah, like, just fix it. So it's like, it kind of... Ma- I know someone's going to do it. Why- Dude, you know what? I'm going to IGN. Name. It's going to be Peacock. IGN <laughs> released some, like, fucking kingdom shit the other day. And it was all AI? That's what they were saying. Mm, and Even the, the art. Ri- and during the writer strike. Mm. Which is still fucking horrible. Yeah, that does suck. Rest in peace. Rest in peace what? Just fucking nothing. <laughs> nothing? Red, just rest in so, peace. So, honestly, there's a writer strike going on in Hollywood. If any of you know that, the Writers Guild of America are striking because uh, due to all the uproars of, you know, fucking Hulu, Netflix, Ma- uh, what is it, fucking HBO's now? Max. Just Max. So, because of that, like... There's no, uh, what is it called, when uh, when you write something and you get, like, constant money throughout your lifetime? Royalties. Royalties. There's not a really a lot of royalties due to the fact that some of them get removed and they're not using a lot of writers and not paying them because there's just an influx of so much Well, what money. I heard, too, both. Both. But, w- there you go, residuals. Yeah, residuals will go on, uh, residuals can be season not seasonal, but, like, every four months or something. I think, or six months. Ago, so. <coughs> but what's the question? No, no, no. But basically, what sucks is that, like, basically, I th- well, another thing in the writer strike is they're trying to figure out how to get paid for every time something of theirs that they wrote is streamed. So it might be by clicks because at one point you were getting paid a nickel for every VHS of the movie that you r- wrote, paid, you know what I mean? Yeah. And, you know, those nickels add up. But, like, now they're seeing, like, you know, how should we should we get paid, like, a penny for every click or, like, two pennies or this, this, and that. But then, obviously, on top of that, it's also, um, it's also, you know, it's also fucking uh, AI. AI is a big deal. Like, it, like, if AI really sweeps in, even though it kind of already is, basically like i bet like new jobs is gonna be like i'm an ai supervisor like like stuff like that it's gonna be weird new shit weezer performs for the writers protesting in hollywood you don't like weezer huh no you don't like radiohead i don't like radiohead doesn't like radiohead everybody isn't that just sad oh i don't think i ever explained it i got kicked out of the weezer concert the the small intimate one at the glass house why well, you know this, right? No, I don't. Why did you get kicked out of the Weezer concert? <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, so Weezer announced a very last-second concert at the Glass House. And, um, of course, when, when it got fucking announced, bam, sold out. Dude, Glass House is like, how many people? 800. 800? Fuck, of course it's going to fucking sell out. I haven't been to the Glass House in forever. Shout out Pomona. 
Shout, shout out, Pamana. <laughs> Pete Town, baby. Uh, but you already know, it's like fucking, how, how is it not going to sell out? Yeah. And fucking Weezer sells out stadiums in seconds. Yeah. So, of course, people were just buying, like, people from out of fucking state bought tickets to the glass house. Like ones do. Like ones, like ones do, like us. <laughs> I know, huh? Um, we're no better. We're no better than them. So, uh, a friend of mine tells me, hey, dude, like, there's nothing I can do. And he works at the glass house. I'm like, hey, I was wondering if you could hook it up. Like, I really want to see, I really want to see Weezer. He's like, I didn't know you were that much of a Weezer fan. I'm like, I really am. I really love their fucking music. And I really need to see Sweater Song, Sweater Undone, like, live. Yeah. And he's just like, oh, yeah, dude, like, fucking, how about this? I'm going to give you a pass. Un, uh, what what is what, what did we used a to say? Pass? What what did what oh. did we used to say? So like, if this ever bites us in the ass? Oh, allegedly. Allegedly. Or your sources? My sources tell us. Maybe Our this is, sources. Maybe tell this us. is all a lie for anyone that's in the glass house or in the Weezer because th- it'll make sense later on. Because it's all allegedly. It's all allegedly. Yeah. So um, a friend of mine goes, "Hey, here's this pass. Like, uh, it's a it's a media pass." But the problem is the show starts at 7. You have to show up at 2. Like, you have to show Damn. up. Th- yeah, dude, you have to yeah. show up at 2 because they have, like, their own crew and shit like that. So you have to be part of the crew. And I was just like, all right, then I'll do it, allegedly. So I put on the fucking pass, get ready, and uh, I'm just, I'm hyped. You know, I'm fucking hyped. And guess what? I pull up at their practice. They're playing full sets by themselves. They're practicing. Guess what song I got to hear? Sweater song. Sweater song. Just you and them. Just me and them. I filmed <laughs> five seconds of them ending, and then I got fucked. Because you were filming? Not even because of that, because my dumb ass had to ask something. I should have just kept my fucking mouth shut, dude. Like, I should have just kept my mouth shut. So what happens, after they were playing the song, I went, I started clapping. And, like, two other people were just, like, clapping too. Like, yeah, you guys sound great. Like, professionally, you know? Yeah. And I turn around, and I go, like, Damn, like they're. I wonder when they're gonna play the song. It's like, what are you talking about? This is their, this is like their final song. They've been doing that the whole tour. And I'm like, oh yeah, I forgot. Fucking those who's walked around, are like, hey, that dude doesn't seem like he's part of the crew. Walked up to me. Wow. Walked up to me and said, like, where'd you get this pass? So they put me in a room for four hours. Put me in a fucking room trying to get the people fired at the glass. I was like, who gave me this fucking pass? This is too professional. This is, like, really, like, from us. Like, where the fuck you get this? How'd you get this? Like, this is, like, a crime and shit like this. This is a felony. You're breaking in and shit like that. And I'm just like, oh, I made it myself. I'm just really good at making shit like this. <laughs> I just really love Weezer. I didn't want to stitch my own. I mean, I was like, yeah, fuck no, it. I was no. just like, fuck that. And plus, he's hooked me up for a ton of shows, allegedly. 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 Like, I've done so many fucking shows allegedly at Glass House for free. Um, but I'm just like, no, I didn't. I didn't get to. Wait, 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 wait. Like, while they were walking wait, 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 in wait. fucking hammers and everything. Like that. Where'd you go? Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> and I remember the guy, just one of the, I think it was like the, one of the stage managers. He grabs the fucking pass and he goes, you ever do this again? Zoom in. Zoom in. <laughs> you ever do this again? We will find out where you live. And that's all he said. <laughs> oh, damn. That's yeah. the way to so, cut it. So, so the thing is, he didn't hit me with a threat. Because he knew if he threatened me, there could be some legal action, you know? Yeah, no, nah, this yeah. goes. You do this again, we will find out where you live. And then walked away. Jeez. So, before we wrap it up today, um, I don't know when this will come out. But we've said this before, and we'll say it again. We are going to Michigan. We're going to Michigan. And when we go to Michigan, we're actually planning that we might go to Canada. If we it works might out, go to Canada. we might go to Canada. We might get a car, go to Canada, come back, and watch Fall in Reverse all in one day. Crazy enough, this guy told me how much the price was to rent a car, and it's a Fucking no brainer almost how the stupid cheap. And what's funny is that we rent the car and they'll charge us if we pass seven hundred and fifty miles, but literally Canada and back will be six (laughs) hundred. Fucking bonkers. And I think I think we can still leave the car at the border and then just cross. Like walk cross? Enter. Why does cross sound racist? That's it's not. It's just a joke. <laughs> so <man>. then we'll, <laughs> we'll go to Canada 
and we could be there for like two hours and then it's we'll just go back. It's more racist than hop. Like, like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, hop the they will hop the board into Canada because they got cool shit in there. <laughs> Ottawa. Ottawa's a province because they don't have states. Oh, okay. It's weird. We're going we're going we're going to a weird part of Canada that I uh, I hope we're not going to like the French part of Canada. I don't want to go to Q- like around Quebec and shit. Yeah, like where it's all French. Uh Newfoundland. Ugh. Newfoundland does speak French too. Because there's like a part of Canada where it's like there's a lot of French Canadians. Well, they're all French Canadians. They're not all French Canadians. But like the Canadians near like Seattle, Washington are cooler than the Canadians. <laughs> Dude, what if what if we end Dude, up? Dude, at- no, but like, but dude, okay, but look at here though. I'm not lying to you. I bet everyone says the same thing. I guarantee people are like, dang, the Americans on the West are pretty cool than the Americans in the middle. <laughs> Just saying. Especially how racist Just saying, they are. right? Don't you think? No, I, I, I understand what you mean. So, anyways, guys, now about this mission. I do want trip, poutine. I just want to end it. I want to end it like this. They're not all French Canadian. They're not all French Canadian. Because they're not all French Canadian. <laughs> yeah, now they're just Canadian. No, anyways. So I don't even think we touched on this. Episodes ago, we s- we said that we were going to New Orleans. That fell through, and now we're going to Michigan. So yeah, I still regret the New Orleans thing. That fucking and haunts you me know every what? day. New Orleans, twenty twenty four. Thank you, everybody, and like always, until next time. <laughs>